Hello, today I'm here in FL Studio and I'm going to make a quick tutorial on something I just learned. It's kind of, um, you can go into Flowstone, open, so I downloaded a, a dual scope, so we're going to open that up. Oh shit, sorry for that. Um, so, here's the scope, there's the audio output right there, uh, there's the two oscillations and the scope. So what we're going to do is, um, add in a text box. So we want, um, an edit box right here. Hook that to there copy that and we'll paste that to right there paste that again right there okay so now what we text in this text box shows up in there and that becomes the frequency that goes into the oscillation and shows up right here see it's already it's real time so we can also add a slider or knob or whatever you want. Um, let's go with that one, I guess. Actually, um, I'm going to click on this little P and we'll change the maximum number to 200. And then we'll copy that, paste it. One for each of those. So now both of these boxes are controlled by this, and so is this, and so are these. So this next one right here is going to be a pan module that I also got from a forum where people just share little things like components they've made. Um, so there's just the background right there, the label in and out. So we're just going to copy paste this this thing right here. I don't exactly know what that's called. The little uh, mixer. And paste it right there. Okay. So we're going to hook um, and delete all these links, I guess. And then we're going to go left and right. Then we'll put it in the text box. Um, actually, I don't need that text box. Um, we'll add some kind of a knob. We call it this knob, I guess. We'll hook that to the text edit box. We'll copy this. Display the number right there. Put that to there. So now we're going to go and hook these left and right. Left and right. And this has to be zero to one. It says right there zero to one. So, we're going to zoom a little bit out, turn that into a module, turn on the graphics, and unlock it. I'm just going to line these up. Oh, um, sorry, I'm trying to do this a bit fast here. I need to label it. So, there's number one. Number one, number one. So I know that the rest that aren't labeled will be number two. So line 
line this up so it looks pretty. Oops, there's three of them here. We're going to want to go back inside here. We're just going to label this left. And the one right. So basically what this is, is this is the hertz, the frequency. So if you look up Robert Mon Monroe, he started uh, the Monroe Society, which is, they produce binaural beats, which is hemi-sync, which is two different frequencies, like slightly off. So you put in one, 100 hertz into your left ear, 100 hertz, like this, and then you put 104 hertz. And we'll listen to this. So we get 100 hertz, we get 104 hertz, and we get 4 hertz because it isolates the 4. So th this is used because you, if you play 4 hertz, you can't hear it. And here, we'll see. This can be. It's impossible to hear it. So, you isolate it with two frequencies that you can hear, and the, the, it, it, regul it changes your, your brain wave. Like binaural beats, like for meditation, it'll, it'll bring your, your mind vibration down to the vibration that you're listening to by, by, putting, by isolating it in the middle of your brain. So this is just a simple synthesizer to make that, and I just learned how to do this. So we can do, we can type in whatever, and there's lots of different um, frequencies like, with like into the decimals that you can get very specific for um, like astral projection and like all kinds of different meditation things. Um, Go inside of here and go all the way into this. Um, go into here. Go into here. And right here's the color. So these numbers, we'll change that to bracket 100. change the color just by typing in the numbers. Um, so whatever that works. Um, so yeah, this is pretty basic thing we have here. Um, don't exactly know what I'm going to do next. Make this. Um, we want an input and an output. This is the start. So we don't want this to be the audio out right now. So we're going to do two outputs. And this will. This will make it so that I can put it into a different 
synthesizer. Still line these up right here. Mm -hmm. 